Karnataka, a state in South India has a well-developed transport system. Its capital city, Bengaluru is well connected by air to domestic and international destinations and the Kempagada International Airport in the city is one of the busiest airports in India. It was also the headquarters of the airlines Air Deccan and Kingfisher Airlines. The road transport is also well developed in the state with many national and state highways providing means for fast transportation. The headquarters of the Southwestern Railway Division of Indian Railways is located at Hubali and this division governs most of the railway network in the state. Konkan Railway which passes along the coastal region of the state is considered as one of the toughest engineering projects being undertaken in India till date. Buses, cars and trains are the means of transport for moving across distant places in Karnataka. For transportation within the city or town limits, motorbikes, cars, auto rickshaws and buses are used. With the advent of low-cost airlines, many people are choosing to travel via air as well. <inaudible> air transport Mangaluru and Bengaluru are the only two cities in the state that have international flights operating from their airports. Kempagada International Airport is host to nine domestic airlines and 19 international airlines and Lufthansa, British Airways, Air France, Singapore Airlines and Malaysia Airlines, connecting the city to almost 50 destinations across India and the world. With Bengaluru being the IT capital of India, the air traffic to this city has increased manifold. Mangalore International Airport on the other hand connects seven international destinations which includes Dubai, Bahrain, Qatar, Dammam, Kuwait, Abu Dhabi, Muscat and domestic destinations like Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru, Calicut, Chennai. Mangalore International Airport has recorded 28.1% annual growth in passenger traffic for the year 2015-2016 by carrying 1.67 million passengers, making it the fastest growing airport in the state. Hubli Airport IATA, HBX, ICAO, VOHB, is one of the major operational airports serving northern Karnataka. Currently Spicejet Airlines have started its operation from Hubli to Bangalore, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Jubalpur, Mangalore, Chennai and Indigo Airlines have started its operation from Hubli to Ahmedabad, Chennai, Bangalore, Cochin, Goa, Alliance Air operates one flight every day to the state capital Bangalore, Air India has started its operation from Hubli to Mumbai and Bangalore on Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday, and Star Air India will start its operation Hubli to Bangalore, Delhi, Hindon, Pune, and and Tirupati on September 15 the airport is currently being upgraded to an international airport. Mysore Airport Many airlines disconnected the service from Mysore as flights which plied to Kempagada International Airport did not go well. New routes of air service were introduced under the Udon scheme to Hyderabad and Chennai every day which received great response. Additional to that the state operates flights from Bangalore to Mysore during Dussehra festival. The airport landed in major controversies with the runway expansion. A decision was taken to build an underpass as it was blocked by rail route and a national highway connecting Khori Code, a first kind in the country. Plans are to develop this major tourist destination's airport to an international service as there is competition now from the upcoming Kanner International Airport. Belgaum Airport is the oldest airport in North Karnataka. Alliance Air India operate to Bangalore thrice a week Tuesday, WED, SAT, Air India started operation to Bangalore four days a week MON, 2, FRI, SUN. There are airports at Bellary Airport and Bidar Airport that do not have any air service. In addition, there are private airstrips at Sedam Airport, Kapil Airport and Harihar Airport. Hassan Airport, Karnataka, Kalabaragi Airport, Bijapur Airport and Shivamaga Airport, built under the Public-Private Partnership PPP model, was opened for commercial use by July 2013. Topic rail transport The total length of rail track in Karnataka is 3,089 km for a long time after independence. The railway network in the state was under the southern and western railway zones which were headquartered at Chennai and Mumbai respectively. The southwestern zone, headquartered at Hubali was created in 2003 thus fulfilling a long-standing demand of the state. Several parts of the state now come under this zone with the remaining being under southern railways. 
Coastal Karnataka is covered under the Konkan Railway Network, a project that is regarded as one of the feats of Indian engineering and included the construction of a bridge of length 2,023 metres 6 across the river Sharavathi at Hanavar and a tunnel of length 2,960 metres 9 at Karwar. Bengaluru, the capital city, is extensively connected with interstate destinations while other important cities and towns in the state are not so well connected. The train connectivity within Karnataka has improved since K. H. Muniapa, Member of Parliament from Kolar constituency has been the Union Minister of State for Railways. Mangaluru, one of the major cities in Karnataka now has a train service to other major cities like Bengaluru. Mysuru started on 8 December 2007, but not directly to Hubali. There is a proposed railway line between Hubali and Ankola to fulfill this demand. Shivamaga Talaguppa, Mysore Chamarajanagar meter gauge tracks has been converted to broad gauge. There is a direct train service from Mysuru to Talaguppa which is very close to the world famous Jog Falls. An announcement regarding the extension of Bangalore Shivamaga Express night train to Talaguppa has been made in the railway budget 2012-13. There are four direct passenger trains running from Mysuru to Chamarajanagar and a Chamarajanagar Tirupati fast passenger which connects to the state capital Bengaluru via Mysuru. District capital like Madakiri is not connected by a rail network. A rail link to Madakiri would be difficult since it is a hill station and any construction activity would harm the pristine environment. The district of Kodagu has no railway track within it, however, a survey is under progress to link Mysuru with Kushalnagar in Kodagu district. Doubling of the track between Bengaluru and Mysuru, a line that receives very good patronage, is already completed. Though the state has Konkan Railway within it, it has remained isolated with no trains running from other parts of the state to places that exist on the Konkan Railway. The superfast Shatabdi Express trains run from Bengaluru to Chennai and Mysuru. A Jan Shatabdi Express runs from Bengaluru to Hubali, and this is the first train in India that has been fitted with a GPS global position system based location announcement system. Using this system, the passengers are announced a priori the arrival of a station. Konkan Railway is an engineering marvel, the construction of which included the bridge across the river Sharavathi at Hanavar of length 2,023 metres and a tunnel at Karwar of length 2,960 metres. A high-end luxury train operated by the Tourism Department of Karnataka the Golden Chariot covers the places of interest in Karnataka and Goa under the tour name Pride of the South. Places covered, Bengaluru, Kabini, Bandipur, Mysuru, Hassan, Hampi, Gadig, Goa, Bengaluru. The same train covers the places of interest in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala with a different tour name Southern Splendor. Places covered, Bengaluru, Chennai, Mamalapuram, Pondicherry, Tiruchirappalli and Thanjavur, Madurai, Kanyakumari, Tiruvanantapuram, Backwaters and Kochi, Alapi, Bengaluru. <laughs> Water transport Karnataka has one major port, the new Mangaluru port and ten minor ports, Karwar, Belakari, Tadri, Hanavara, Botkal, Kundapur, Hangarkata, Malp, Padubidri and Old Mangaluru. The construction of the new Mangaluru port was started in 1962 and completed in 1974. It was incorporated as the ninth major port in India on 4 May 1974. This port handled 32.04 million tons of traffic in the fiscal year 2006-07 with 17.92 million tons of imports and 14.12 million tons of exports. This was actually a slowdown in traffic at this port compared to the previous fiscal year mainly due to the reduction in iron ore exports from the Kudremuka Iron Ore Company Limited. The port also handled 1015 vessels including 18 cruise vessels during the year 2006-07. The sector of inland water transport within the rivers of Karnataka is not well developed. <inaudible> <inaudible> Road transport Among the network of roads in Karnataka, 3,973 km, of roads are national highways. Karnataka also has state highways of length 9,829 km. The public bus transport in Karnataka is managed by the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation KSRTC. 
It was set up in 1961 with the objective of providing adequate, efficient, economic and properly coordinated road transport services. It operates 5,100 schedules using 5,400 vehicles covering 1.95 million kilometers and an average of 2.2 million passengers daily. About 25,000 people are employed in KSRTC. For better management of public transport, KSRTC was bifurcated into three corporations viz. Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation, Bengaluru on 15 August 1997, Northwest Karnataka Road Transport Corporation, Hubali on 1 November 1997 and Northeast Karnataka Road Transport Corporation, Gulbarga on 1 October 2000. The reservation system is networked and computerized and tickets can be availed at designated kiosks in towns and cities. An online reservation system called AWATAR has also been devised by KSRTC using which travelers can reserve tickets online. KSRTC plies various categories of buses viz. Aravat Club Class high-end luxury Volvo, Scania, Mercedes-Benz multi-axle AC buses, Aravat high-end luxury Volvo and Mercedes-Benz AC buses, Ambari Corona AC and non-AC sleeper buses, Rajahamsa Executive deluxe buses built on Leyland, Iker and Tata chassis, Karnataka Vaibhav semi-deluxe buses built on Leyland, Iker and Tata chassis, Karnataka Sarij bus service linking rural areas to major settlements as well as the cheapest alternative for intercity city or town routes. The buses are built on Tata and Leyland chassis. Gramina Sarige is another initiative by KSRTC to provide bus service to the rural populace of the state. Buses run by private persons are allowed to operate in few districts of Karnataka. Inter-district transportation are run by private operators, connecting capital Bengaluru and main cities like Mangaluru and Darwad to district headquarters. Intra-district transportation by private operators is currently allowed in Dakshina Kannada and Udupi districts. Omni bus and maxi cabs are also other modes of road transportation in the state, especially where KSRTC does not buses or run very few. See also Transport in India